Welcome to the time value of money third session and um, uh, the learning goal of this session is to calculate both future and pr present value of a mixed stream of cash flows. So the uh, example is that SI a drawer manufacturer expects to receive the following mixed stream of cash flows over the next five years from one of its uh, small customers. So the small customer is um, paying the SI uh, these cash flows at the end of each year. So the f at the end of first year is 11,500, at the end of the second year is 14,000, at the end of the third year is 12,900 and so forth. Now, if the firm expects to earn at least 8% on its investment, how much will it accumulate by the end of year five if it immediately invests these cash flows when they are received? So the small firm pays whatever cash flow at the end of the year, immediately SI invest, into the, uh, invest at 8% and uh, will accumulate it by the end of year five. So we need a total amount. It's a future value problem. But since the cash flows are different, they are not same. So it's a mixed cash, mixed stream cash flow problem. So we solve it by drawing first the timeline so that we have a clear view of where we are. So it's uh, Now, this is the end of year problem and the dollar amounts as given are at the end of the first year, it's 11,500. Then we have 14,000. Then we have 12,900. 16,000 at the end of fourth year and 18,000 at the end of fifth year now what we have to do is we have to bring all at the end of five year so we have this amount then we have this amount which will go so many then this amount and then this amount and then we have 18,000 which is already at the end of the year so this will be we will have uh, n equals to, and you can count it. This is n is equal to 4 as we did before. This is 3, this is 2, this is 1. And for this, there is n is equal to 0. So no uh, further time value, of will, time value of money will be applied on it. And here we'll have future value. Uh, present value multiplied by 1 plus r raised to the power n, which means that we have 11,500 multiplied by 1.08, and that's raised to the power uh, 4. This will give us 15,645.62. Uh, for n is equal to 3, if you use the same formulas with a different cash flow, obviously it's a 14,000 cash flow. So we'll get 17,635.97. And then for the third cash flow, we'll get 15,046.56. Uh, uh, and then we have this fourth cash flow, which will be 17,280. And then we have last one, which is 18,000, which will be the same way. Nothing will change here. And when we add all of them together, we will have a total um, future amount of dollar 83,608.62. This is how we calculate the future value of mixed stream.
obviously in Excel it's much easier and you can see that we have year one two three four five and we have the same uh, cash flows listed here with eight percent however we use the NPV function here and you should try the NPV function which actually uh, which actually asks for this the the cell numbers from uh, B8 B8 is the interest rate and B3 to B7 this B3 to B7 is basically this amount B3 to B7 is the cash flows and you will get the net present value or you know present value which is 56902.30 and the net present value is taken back to the future value which will become 83.608 it's like this we take all these cash flows uh, and we calculate the present value and then we take the present value and we take it to future again as a single amount so all the present all the cash flows are first brought to present value and then we take the single present value calculated back to the future value now let's look at the present value of mixed stream FC, a shoe polish manufacturer, has been offered an opportunity to receive the following mixed stream of cash flows over five years. At the end of the year, first year, uh, FC will receive 400. At the end of the second year, will receive 800, and so on until the year five when they will receive $300 cash flow. Now, if the firm must earn at least 9% on its investment, what is the most it should pay for this opportunity? So we can now draw the timeline and look how it, how it works. So these are five years plotted on the timeline and these are all end of year so the amounts are pretty straightforward so at the end of the first year it's four hundred dollars and then we have eight hundred dollars five hundred dollars four hundred dollars and then three hundred dollars now we bring the first cash flow to year zero which means this will be n is equal to one then we have another one that will come down to n equals to two then we have this will be n is equal to three you I think you should remember that this is present value so one time period will be discounted and so the rest of them will follow and then we have uh, fourth which is n is equal to four and then we have and that will be n is equal to five for n is equal to five i can do the simple calculation which is present value is equal to future value over one plus r n and you can do this by bringing 300 dollars substituting it and it will be 1.09 raised to the power 5 and that will give you a total of 194.98 so on so so this will be 366.97 the second cash flow will be discounted and it will be 673.35 the third will be 386.09 and fourth will be 283.37 and the finally 194 if you add them all so this will be all of them if you add you will get a total dollar amount of one nine uh, zero four uh, point seven six 
dollars. In Excel, you can simply calculate the net present value, and that's NPV. You have the listed cash flows. So if you look at the formula, this is the interest rate, and the rest of the cash flows enter here, B3 to B7, and you will get the result of 1904.76. So we are uh, we 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 reviewed um, the uh, learning goal. Uh, the, we calculated the present value and future value for both mixed stream of cash flows, and look at the timelines as well. So now we have to look at the uh, compounding and certain application of the time value of money. So uh, for the time being, thank you.